Saya Ram. Saya Ram. Saya Ram. Saya Ram. Welcome to Face to Face in Singapore. It's a real pleasure to have you face to face, meeting a global audience in that sense. You know. What I want to ask you at the onset itself is, as a Buddhist and as a Sai devotee, there are values in all religions. Buddhism has got the five precepts. Bhagwan has given five values. Do they merge, or is there more value to what you're doing with Bhagwan's teachings? Um, Bhagwan's teachings have given me greater understanding of Buddhism. So it's really uh, something that helps me to be a better B Buddhist. Um, and this is happening all over the world, where Swami's teachings will help people of all religions to be a better uh, religious person in their own religion because we do not uh, try to change anybody Swami said when you are Christian be the best Christian when you are Buddhist be the best Buddhist when you are Muslim be the best Muslim I agree with you as a Buddhist myself I've become a better Buddhist and so have my, yes. so has my wife and my children uh, because of Bhagwan's given a greater understanding of inside, and the way he talks about the Buddha and Lord Jesus Christ, or even people like Lincoln, every now and then he gives examples and gives you right. different insights mm -hmm. altogether. You see, yes. What are the three greatest transformations that have happened to you after being a Sai devotee? Well, um, let me say that Swami has put me through many workshops. <laughs> To transform me, okay. Um, naturally, uh, the very first meeting is very important for me because when I first arrived uh, some 24 years ago in Puttaparthi, my first sight of Swami, and I was a long way away, okay, because uh, it's birthday celebration, and I couldn't get anywhere close to Swami. Uh, it was quite some distance away. But when he came out for darshan, suddenly I was shivering, I was crying, and uh, I felt there was a lot, lot of light and energy entering my body. Okay, And that was a real transformation. I knew that my search has ended. I, there's no longer any need for me to search anywhere else. Because I was always on the search. I was always trying to find a guru or somebody who could teach me. Um, and uh, I was not satisfied um, throughout my life, really, because I met many um, teachers, many yogis, but... And ajans? Yes, and ajans, yes, acharyas. <laughs> um, but it was when I, I met Swami that I knew that my journey has ended. What clicked? Just seeing one darshan from a distance, yes, and something completely soaked and clicked and touched your soul, um, sort of the inner being of your core of your heart. What is it about this? Looking at our Guru, looking at Swami, what is it that that, that entered you? Well, physically, I felt a lot of energy entering. Uh, that there was light entering my my body, and I was shaking, shivering, and crying, uh, but it was um, peaceful, very peaceful and uh, that's I just felt that that's it <laughs> there is a first transformation yes uh, second and third well uh, the second transformation uh, Swami wanted to. Uh, make sure that I no, am no longer attached to worldly things. At that time, I was a very successful businessman. I had many businesses, I was shareholders uh, in many companies, I was president of companies, and suddenly I lost everything. Just overnight, something happened, uh, people turned away, They, uh, some of them just took the shares away, uh, all kinds of uh, happenings. And suddenly I was, I had no business, I had nothing. Okay, So at that time I received a telegram from Puttaparthi. So I was told to go to, to see Swami. 
and I was to give a talk for teachers in Putta Party. So were you involved in education then? Well, not really, but um, you mentioned business. You see, that's why. Yes, I, asked. I was in business more than anything else. But before that, I was teaching at university, so I kept up uh, lecturing, um, but in my spare time, okay. But mostly, I was concentrating on business. What subjects were you lecturing on at that time? Um, well, I still did some lectures in engineering, in science, uh, environment. But mostly it has become EHV, human values. Okay, it's already changing uh, towards human values, education, and so on. And so I went to see Swami. I bought the cheapest ticket that was available um, because I was in some financial difficulty at that time. So I went to Puttaparthi and um, I gave that le lecture. Then Swami called me, okay, to a private interview. It was not a normal darshan, a normal interview, but he asked me to go to, to his room, and um, uh, so I, I went there, and that was an opportunity for me to complain to Swami. You know why is all this happening? Swami put up his hand. I know, I know, you've lost all your business. You are in great financial difficulty, I just want to test you. That's what he said. And uh, of course, that was very touching when he said he wants to test me. And I realized that everything is Swami. Swami is planning something, doing something. And uh, that was a real transformation uh, on uh, for me because I realized that it's all Swami and I I, I should not be attached to anything. What 